on the Red Horse Ranch. Now to Red Horse Ranch. Rose Carter, daughter of Sam Carter, owner of Red Horse Ranch, will soon be home from school in the east. And today, all the boys in the Red Horse outfit are entering a horse race, and the winner gets the honor of driving into the station and bringing Rose back to the ranch. Well, here they are. But Alabama, Sam Carter's foreman, is down in the corral. All right, an old paid and lead an old man. I'm going to Montana for to throw the hooly hat. They feed in the hollows and water in the draw. Their tails are all matted and their backs are all wrong. Ride round the little doggies, ride around the snow. For the fiery and stuffy are there to Come on, Red. Come on. Just a little closer. Whoa, boy. Whoa, Red. I ain't going to hurt you. Steady, boy. Steady. Uh, why, what's the matter with you, Red? Old Alabama ain't gonna hurt you any. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Alabama. I guess it was me the Bronc was running from. Uh, I didn't see you coming up, Idaho. I didn't think that Bronc would be running from me. Gosh, ain't he a beauty? You don't really count on riding that coyote in the race, do you, Alabama? No, this pony's gonna be plumb used to me before I ever put a saddle blanket on him. I'm riding old Ben in the race. Well, I guess you've been around horses as much as I have, Alabama. But I'm telling you again, no man's ever gonna straddle that horse and stay on. Idaho, there's only one man that'll ever ride that horse, and that's me. Well. I hope you don't break your neck finding out you're wrong. But listen, the boys is all up there waiting. Uh, well, I guess I'll have to leave you, Red. I gotta get up there and win the chance to drive in after Miss Rose. Why, Alabama. Yeah? Uh, that's what I come down here to see you about. What do you mean? Well, I know Carter's getting a wallop out of having us race to see who drives in after Rose <laughs> when she comes home. But uh, say... You ain't backing out, are you, Idaho? Oh, it ain't that, Alabama. But, well, I know Rose means a lot to you, and she might like it if you was to meet her. You just say the word, and I won't mind holding my pony back in the race. <laughs> Idaho, you old sourdough, I ought to make you ride night herd for a week just for that. Uh, anyhow, what makes you think old Ben can't beat your pony? Oh, just as you say. Bob's in this race anyhow, and we've got him to contend with. Get it out of your head about me and Miss Rose. With her coming home from school back east, <laughs> I ain't the man for her. Uh, take some nice kid now, like Tenderfoot. Why, oh, then... that ain't doing right by yourself, and you know it, Alabama. Oh, forget it, Idaho. Snuffy are raring to go. <laughs> Say, Alabama, yeah. we be 
going to think you got scared of this race. Not so as you could notice it, Bob. I figure old Ben still got enough spirit to outrun any mount on the red horse. Uh, you, you needn't stop singing now just because I came up. Oh, we're just showing off to some of the crowd around here. News of this race sure got around in a hurry. <laughs> well, by golly, there's old Dan Higgins. Uh, hi, Bob. Howdy, old man. Hello there. Hey, you couldn't keep me away from a horse race. Well, good luck to you, fella. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Well, I reckon he's going to need it when he gets to eating my pony's yeah. dust. <laughs> uh, we'll see about that, Bob. But, but say, I got to get over there and tighten the cinches on old Ben. Uh, Tex, yeah. as long as all this crowd's here, why don't you sing him that new song you wrote? Oh, you mean the rustler's warning? Yeah, that's the one I think. Oh, like well, I'll, I'll try it. Here it goes. I wanted to be a cowboy and roam the wild woolly west to rope the longhorn cattle on the range beyond the crest. The day I left my father's door, the day I left my home, the day I left my friends to mourn this western land to I joined the band of cowboys, and soon we hit the trail. The first job of cattle rustling, I was placed five years in jail. If you see brother before I do, tell him don't act like me. Tell him not to roam about with all bad company. When I am free, I'll be happy, no more rustling for me. I'll sell my pony and saddle, mother and dad I soon will see. When listen to me, I'm free, leave bad company alone. They will teach you games and ruin your name if in this wide, wide world you the day I left my father's door, day I left my home, day I left my friends to mourn this western land to roam. <laughs> I sure don't see how you do it, Tex. Say I drive all the way from Cheyenne to the Gulf to hear you sing. You'll be hearing him plenty when Dad Carter throws that big dance up at the house. Dance? I ain't hear nothing about that, Bob. Well, you'll hear soon enough. With Rose coming back home, Dad Carter's bound to throw some sort of a shindig. Oh, Bob, uh, talking to Dad, is it true he may lose the Red Horse Ranch? Well, I uh, can't say, Dan. Carter keeps those things pretty well to himself. Say, yeah, Dan, right. yeah. if, if you really want to hear some playing, me and some of the boys got a French harp quartet, that'll knock you loose from a limb. <laughs> well, you might as well play it first, Dan. Well, well, all right. Come on, boys, and let's get it. Get going. <laughs> Why, sure, Cookie. Well, what is it? Oh, whoa, Ben, whoa. Well, do you see, I hear you ain't gonna race with the rest of the boys. Yeah, that's right. Well, just to be sure you in that I brung you this rabbit food. <laughs> well, I'm mighty obliged to you, Cookie. Uh, Mr. Alabama. Yeah. That ain't no ordinary rabbit's foot. Huh? What is it? That's the jack rabbit's foot, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I'll tie it right around Ben's neck here, Cookie. Uh, just confidential, Mr. Alabama. Mm -hmm. I was counting on being a cowpuncher and riding horses like you do someday, too. <laughs> well, Cookie, a cowpoke's got to be bow-legged to ride a horse. You about as knock-kneed as a two-day-old colt. Yes, I know that, but you see, I've been sitting straddle of a barrel every day this week, and I was getting my legs in shape. <laughs> but listen, Cookie, if I was you, I'd get back into that kitchen. I heard Mr. Carter tell you to have Chuck ready right as soon as this race was over. Yes, it's practically done now. It's just practically done. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bob, uh, uh, me and old Ben's all ready to go. Oh, Mr. Carter will be down from the house in just a minute. Yeah. He's going to start us. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, sure is. Yeah. Race is going to be from the gate down the road to that boulder. That's all right with you, Alabama? Uh, uh, sure it is. Oh, say, ain't that Mr. Carter coming now? Yeah, come on, fellas. Let's ride into a good tune for it. And say, I tell you, a good one for the occasion. What's that? Pony Boys, that suit that Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Pony Boy, Pony Boy, won't you be my Tony Boy? Don't say no, here we go, off across the plain. Marry me, carry me, ride away with you. Yep, 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 whoa, oh, my Pony Boy. Pony boy, pony boy, won't you be my Tony boy? Don't say no, here we go, off across the plains. Marry me, carry me, ride away with you. Get up, get up, get up, oh, my pony boy. Hey, hey. Yes, you and Idaho and Bob ready for the race? We yeah. sure are, Mr. Carter, any time you say. Uh, get on your ponies, boy. Oh, well, right. now I'll start you off with my gun, and right. I'm promising well, again. Well. Uh, one of you boys who wins this race gets to drive in after my daughter Rose when she comes home. Well, that's some inducement, Dan. And listen, when Rose gets home, Whoa. I'm having a big dance up to the house. <laughs> and if yeah, any yeah, of yeah, you yeah. deludes yeah. dare to stay away from that dance, <laughs> well, uh, I'll have it out with you personally. <laughs> I'll show be there. All right, now. Uh, get lined up there, boys. Uh, are you ready? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, move over there, Bob. Oh, uh, yeah, we ready. Hey. There they go. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. You see them? Go. Yeah, look at them go. Hey. Alabama oh, go. Man. A nice lead yes, there. But Idaho's closing in on him. Those yes, are good race. Yes, 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 between Idaho and Alabama for sure. Now. Alabama's still leading. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Why, why, what's happened? Why, well, Alabama, his horse is well. We better get down there. It looks yeah. like a bad fall. Yeah. Yeah. Old Ben yeah. must have stumbled. Yeah, yeah. Say, Alabama's picking himself up. Must be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Alabama. Alabama, are you hurt? No. It's not me that's hurt. It's old Ben's leg. This is his last race, poor fellow. Well, Idaho, I guess you win after all. Uh, sure too bad about your horse, Alabama. He was running a mighty good race, too. Well, I guess I shouldn't have made him run like that. D take care of him, will you, boys? I can't. I I'm going back to the bunkhouse. Faithful Ben, gone. Too bad for Alabama. But it is a break for Idaho. Now he gets to drive to town for Rose, and we'll all enjoy meeting her. And say, by the way, will Alabama ever succeed in taming his beautiful roan horse? Mm -hmm.